Breast cancer kills an American woman every 13 minutes. That alarming number is just one reason why survivors and medical experts are coming together to spread awareness about the devastating disease. Alex Asida spoke with three breast cancer survivors and has more. It did a diagnostic mammogram, it was suspicious, ultrasound, sonogram, biopsy, um, it was cancer. Heather Eastwood was just 36 when she found a lump. Like so many breast cancer patients under 40, she wasn't scheduled to have a mammogram yet. And that's a similar situation for Jamie Boyd, who was diagnosed just last year. Well, I urged my OBGYN, though, to, I said, it's just not right. Even Dr. Clova thought, oh, it feels like a cyst as well. But when he put the wand on me, his face just changed, and I knew at that point that it was cancer. The disease kills more than 40,000 American women every year. It's the leading cause of cancer death in Hispanic women in the U.S. and hits African American women earlier than the 61 year old average for white women. Paula was diagnosed at age 60. She too found the diagnosis as a shock. Yeah, it took me probably several months to really believe that I was a cancer patient. None of these women had a history of breast cancer, and as daughters, mothers, and sisters, they vowed not to let the cancer beat them. Cancer is, is often thought of as a death sentence, and um, I didn't want to die. I was too young to die. Um, but I knew that I was going to get through it. Tor spent time trying to distract herself from the four weeks of radiation and other treatment as a patient in 2014. I had started walking with the aspirations to run <clears throat> again, and then I got diagnosed, so I felt kind of like I got slammed, but I didn't stop. I kept walking and kept working up to it. Eastwood, Tor, and Boyd all say they'll continue to be vigilant about breast cancer screenings. They listen to your gut because most times women's intuition, you know when something's not right and just get it checked out. A lot of times it is just a cyst, but it's better to be safe than sorry. Boyd will undergo her last surgery later this month. Tomorrow morning, we'll hear from an East Texas oncologist who found himself helping his own family through breast cancer when his wife was diagnosed.